Dubai T-Cube Law At very low temperatures, the molar heat capacity of rock salt varies with temperature according to Dubai T-Cube Law. C is K times T-Cube divided by theta cube, where K is 1940 joules per mole Kelvin and theta is 281 Kelvin. Theta is actually Dubai temperature. Part A. How much heat is required to raise the temperature of 1.5 mole of rock salt from 10 Kelvin to 40 Kelvin? Part B. What is the average molar heat capacity in this range? Part C. What is the true molar heat capacity at 40 Kelvin? Now we have an interesting situation here. The specific heat is temperature dependent. Okay, so if we have a constant, uh, so let's remember that if we have a constant molar heat capacity or specific heat, molar heat capacity uh, C, we will have Q is equal to N C delta T where n will be now the number of moles and delta t will be the change in temperature t final minus t initial but if we have the molar specific heat c of t temperature dependent then uh, a small amount of heat uh, absorbed will be n c of t dt because it's temperature dependent for a small change in temperature c will be approximately a constant so it will be n c dt now this dq here does not mean q final minus q initial it's the amount of heat because remember q is not a state variable it's a transfer variable heat is a transfer variable so in an advanced thermodynamics class you will see that this won't be called dq but d bar q to indicate that difference anyhow so let's keep it as dq for now the total amount of heat absorbed uh, in going from an initial temperature t initial to final temperature t final will be the integral of dq this will be integral from t initial to t final and k t cube divided by theta cube dt so this will be if we take the constants outside and k divided by theta cube the integral of t to 3 dt is t to 4 divided by 4 so t to 4 over 4 which will be evaluated between the initial temperature and the final temperature so we will see that the total amount of heat absorbed in going from initial temperature to final temperature will be n k divided by 4 theta cube which is only valid at low temperatures by the way uh, t final to the fourth power minus t initial to the fourth power so uh, we will obtain this result uh, symbolically uh, for this uh, temperature dependent uh, molar heat capacity okay now uh, if we substitute the numbers here, we can obtain Q is equal to, uh, the number of moles was 1.5, K is 1940 joules per mole Kelvin, divided by uh, 4 times theta cube. Uh, now uh, we have uh, 4 times 281 cube and the final temperature is 40 kelvin 40 to power 4 the initial temperature is 10 so it's 10 to the 4 so we obtain from this q is equal to 83.6 joules if we keep uh, three significant figures the minimum number of significant figures
So this should be our answer. Q is equal to 83.6 joules. Now part B is asking me, what is the average molar heat capacity in this range? So how do we uh, obtain the average of a value of a variable in a given range of temperatures? This will be 1 divided by uh, the temperature change, delta T, integral from T initial to T final, C dt. Okay, so uh, we have 1 over delta T, the temperature uh, range, uh, temperature change from T initial to T final, integral K T cube divided by theta cube dt. So that's by definition of average. Uh, we consider uh, all possible uh, molar specific heat values uh, at each temperature range between T initial and T final, add them up and divide it by the total temperature change. This is K times T to the fourth power divided by 4 delta T theta cube, which will be evaluated between T initial and T final. So average molar specific heat will be uh, K times T final to the fourth power minus T initial to the fourth power for theta cube T final minus T initial is our delta T. So this will be our uh, symbolic answer. Uh, now we are ready to plug in the numbers to this answer. So that's what I'm going to do now. So average value of the molar specific heat is 1940 is our K value. The temperature 40 to the power 4, 10 to the power 4, T initial to the 4 power, 4th power, 4 times 281 cube. Uh, 40 minus 10 is our delta T. So this will give us a final answer. Uh, average molar specific heat is 1.86 joules per mole Kelvin. So this will be our final answer. Now we want to compare this to the actual value at 40 Kelvin. So that's what we're going to do in part C. Uh, the actual value at 40 Kelvin is K times 40 cube T cube divided by theta cube. So that will be 1940 times 40 cube divided by the cube of 281. So this will give us a molar heat capacity or molar specific heat as 5.60 joules per uh, mole Kelvin. So you can see the average value is quite different. Well, that makes sense because it increases with temperature. So we would have the higher uh, value at 40 Kelvin. Okay, so let's summarize. We have a temperature dependent uh, heat capacity, molar heat capacity, Kt cube over theta cube, or this is known as molar specific heat. Uh, K is 1940 joules per mole Kelvin. The by temperature theta is 281 Kelvin. When we uh, heat 1.5 moles of rock salt from 10 Kelvin to 40 Kelvin, we have uh, for a small change in temperature, C of T is a constant. Uh, so we were basically doing a Riemann sum here over all uh, differential temperature changes that takes this into an integral T initial to T final little amounts of heat we add at each step. 
so that's the amount of energy transferred at each step in the temperature range from t initial to t final and that gives us nk over 4 theta cube t final to the fourth power minus t initial to the fourth power when we substitute the numbers we obtain 83.6 joules in part b we want to know the average molar heat capacity average molar heat capacity will be 1 over the change in temperature integral initial to final temperature cdt that's by definition of average and here we find 1.86 joules per mole kelvin the true molar heat capacity at 40 kelvin was asked in part c is 5.6 joules per mole kelvin that's uh, larger than the average value and as you can see it increases as t cubed therefore it makes sense at the highest possible temperature here we would have a significantly higher uh, molar specific heat compared to the average value